If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Our today's topic is coterminal angles. Two or more than two angles are said to be coterminal if they have the same initial and terminal side. Now, what is meant by the initial and terminal side? If I have, uh, if I consider this circle as it is drawn here, then if I say that this is basically the initial side from where the angle is starting and this is called the terminal side and this is the angle theta. So, two angles are, if, uh, and keep this in mind, for coterminal angles, you should have two angles in order to decide whether the angles are coterminal or not. This is just the basic concept that I have given you regarding the initial side and the terminal side. But what about the coterminal angles? Coterminal angles basically refers if terminal side, like if I say this is O, this is A and this is B. And you will be asked to find whether the two angles are coterminal or not. What do you have to do? Let's start with just example. If I say we have an angle 30 degree and 390 degree and I ask you find whether these two angles are coterminal or not how you will un uh, understand this concept let's discuss it so for finding this keep this in mind that for degrees and radians the concept is um, uh, the concept is same but you have to do a little bit different calculation how if I have 30 degree and 390 degree if I consider this angle as 30 degree or you can say if I write here that this is the angle A, O and B and, th and this is 30 degree angle let's say and I'll ask you determine whether 390 degree angle is coterminal with 30 degree angle or not for that purpose what you have to do is uh, that you have to check that after one revolution whether you come to the terminal side of the first angle or not what does it mean? it will write here that after one revolution now what does it mean one revolution is equals to 360 degree okay so this is basically the terminal side so i'll say if the angle 390 degree comes back to the terminal side of 30 degree or it ends at the terminal side of the 30 degree then it means that both the angles are coterminal so let's draw 390 390 here as here we have O, here we have B, here we have A. So, so if I start from here, as we know that one complete revolution is equal to 360 degree. So, I have to make one complete revolution. Here it comes 360 degree. But what I have to draw? I have to draw 390 degree because I have to determine that whether 390 is coterminal with 330 or not. So, from here I have to move 30 degree more to make it 390. So here it comes 390 degree. How? By 30 degree plus 360 degree. It means it has made one complete revolution and it comes back to the terminal side of the angle 30. So if the second angle comes back to the terminal side of the, sec of the first angle, it means both the angles are coterminal. So one after one revolution, that the angle is coterminal. So, same is the case that you have to check it that is uh, if it comes to the same position after two revolution or after three revolutions or up to so on. So, the concept depends on the revolution. Keep this in your mind that if the two angles have the difference of 360 degree in terms of degrees, in terms of radians, it will be 2 pi. Then we can say that the two angles are, are coterminal. So, note that you have to keep in your mind is two angles will be coterminal if difference between them is 360 degree or 2 pi radian or they multiple or multiples of it like it may be 360 de degree multiplied by 2 or 2 pi multiplied by 2 or 2 multi pi multiplied by 3 or 4 or their multiple are, are will also be considered so this is the concept of, of the coterminal angles that for radians and for degrees, in case of radians, there should be uh, uh, it should be two pi revolution, and in case of degrees, it should be 360 degree. It means if the given angle complete after completing one revolution comes to the position to the terminal position of the first angle, it means they are coterminal. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.